All right, everybody, this video is going to be in portrait mode. It is a video on how to use the Harbor Freight Coupon Database application, how to install it and use it, and the little cart feature that allows you to save coupons for use at the store and then reuse the application. So one of the first things you might want to do before you ever endeavor on this little mission here is to set your phone up so that it can install applications from unknown developers. Now, I don't know if that is a problem anymore, but sometimes the phones will just prompt you when you go to install the application and give you warnings about how it could be dangerous or whatever, and you just have to ignore all of them. And sometimes you have to actually go into your phone settings and go to developer options or something like that and uh, allow installation of unknown developers. So I've got my phone ready, and I think we're just going to go ahead and go for it. So, I'm going to go out to the Harbor Freight Coupon Database. So, I'm going to open up a browser. And that is the hfqpdb.com right at the top here. This is where I get my coupons. And this is also where you're going to go to install the app. At the very top, you're going to see the Android application button let me see if I can zoom in here. Download the Android app. So I'm going to click on that. And you get instructions here that tell you pretty much what I have. Is that uh, some, sometimes you have to uh, set a setting for it, etc., etc. We're going to download it. There's some release notes, etc., etc. Now, the first thing I get is, do you want to download this APAC? It's .APAC file. These are the files that the install, kind of a, a zip file of the install application files. And I'm going to say, go ahead and download it. And then at the bottom of my screen, I get the option to open it. I'm going to click on that. And then here's your first warning I get is, for your security, blah, 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 allow to install unknown apps from this source. And I'm going to go to the settings and allow from this source. Go back and install. And you'll see the icon is, looks like uh, in old style <laughs> scripting, the kind of database icon that you use in mapping or can't remember what that's called anyway so now the app is installed and I'm going to not open it I'm going to just say done and I'm going to go ahead and close okay so now I have my Harbor Freight coupon database app right here in the center of my screen let me move it here so you can see my wife there we go <laughs> <laughs> my pretty wife on here is my backdrop. So I've got the application installed, and I'm just going to click on it and open it. And you get a handy tip, long press any coupon to add to your list, or da-da-da-da-da-da-da. So I got it. So at the top, you have the same sections that you have on the browser-based version. And that is the very first screen, the search screen, where you can search for a part number or a keyword. You also have free coupons gallery, the under a dollar gallery, the super coupons gallery, and ITC is the inside track club gallery. And then, of course, we have our percent off coupons are shown on the first page. So... Let's say we want the five drawer chest coupon that we, you know, to see if we can get the best price on the five drawer cart. I'm just going to put in the keyword five drawer and do click the search button. And here it is right here. I'm going to tap to click on that. I could long click on it to add it to my little cart, which you will see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, the red icon. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a little container with something dropping into it. But I wanted to make sure this is my coupon, and I can find my expiration date. Here is the end of December 21. 
So that is the coupon I want. So I'm going to tap on it, long press, and then I get the option to save to my phone gallery. So save it in my, uh, my phone or add it to my list. And I just want to add it to my list. And then, of course, when I'm doing that, I do not want to forget my free item. <clears throat> now, let's add one more thing just so we could show you how <clears throat> all of the coupons are there. And there we have it. Now I've got all my coupons and I'm ready to go to the store. So at this point, I can go ahead and close the app if I want and not even worry about it. When I get to the store, I just pull it out, open the app, and click on this container icon in the lower right corner. And here are all my coupons to be scanned. All I have to do is swipe. Now, don't worry, if they have a problem reading these sometimes, they can take the number right off of the coupon. But there you have it. I have all three of my coupons. I can scan them when I'm done checking everything through, and it will apply the coupons accordingly. Now, if I'm done, let's go back to the search screen. If I'm done and I want to empty my cart or my container here all i have to do is press on the icon and hold it and i get the i the prompt to clear my list and i say okay okay and i get it tells me that my list has been cleared i can go in there and look and it says your list is empty so i got it so now i can do it again i don't even have to go into the coupons i can just quickly go through and add them to my list right from that first screen. And let's go to the under a dollar and add this one this time. Get them. 20% off coupon, my free item coupon, and my 99 cent screwdriver coupon. All right, everybody, and that's just about going to wrap up this little demo of how to install the Harbor Freight Coupon Database app and then how to use it when you go shopping. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Now, please take a minute to subscribe if you haven't already and like and share these videos. If you are coming up on your weekend, my friends, make it a good one and take care.